I've experienced them some birthdays before. <laughs> Never bought, doesn't bother me much. According to data from the United Nations, there are nearly twice as many centenarians living in this country compared to just 20 years ago. That number right now is about 90,000. Still, though, only about one in every 5,000 people in the U.S. live to reach 100. In tonight's small towns, Jeff Alexander has a recent visit to Nina, a senior living facility that's very unique. At Island Shore's new perspective, there was good reason for a celebration earlier this month. That reason, Jack Crockett, Victor Metzig, and Kay Pharmacus. When we found out that the three were turning 100, 101, and 102, and all in a matter of two weeks, we knew we had to do something special just for them. For the guests of honor, though, that milestone of living a century and beyond, not that big of a deal. I really never thought about it too much. I just lived from from Thanksgiving dinner till the next one. Well, I lived day to day. I didn't think about a great deal. I kind of chuckle to myself because it's a hundred. It's uh, just un, un sustainable to reach a hundred. You know, how can that be? Kay, Jack, and Victor do admit, however, it's pretty rare to have three centenarians in the same senior living facility. Amazing, gives you hope. Another connection they share, they all had highly interesting and successful careers. I worked as an engineer for Kimberly Clark, industrial chemist for a uh, paper mill outfit. I worked for the Atomic Energy Commission. It was interesting, fascinating, and, and uh, frustrating. Kay spent most of her life in Massachusetts before moving to Wisconsin. While the Victor and Jack have lived their whole lives in the Nina area, they share a common belief in why more and more people are joining the Century Club. Fewer cases of serious physical setbacks that uh, n normally killed people earlier in life. That's all. Better medical care. Well, I do think that we know a lot more about human beings and uh, diseases and medicines and stuff. It's, it's all, all that we've developed to take care of people. Still, with April birthdays marking 100, 101, and 102, there's a shared gratitude for their longevity. I just think I'm fortunate and thank God for that. And I've lived an interesting life. Traveled a lot. I visited every state of, every of the 50 states. One way or another, I think all in all, I've, I've loved a good life. And Jack, the elder statesman at Island Shores, has this advice for those eyeing the century mark. Live and take care of yourself the way you should, instead of being a um, a, a, a city bum, let's say, you're, you're going to beat the odds, I think. They definitely are uh, inspiration to many. And I'm hoping that next year at this time we're in the same spot with uh, someone turning 103, 102, and 100 in one. And don't be surprised if that happens. Jack, Kay, and Victor say they all plan to continue being an inspiration to these younger folks here at Island Shores. In Nina with photojournalist Michael Bergman, I'm Jeff Alexander for Small Towns. Jack's just got to make it to another Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> I love I that. I love that attitude. <laughs> you know what I mean?